His Excellency Mahinda Rajapaksa, President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Honorable Ranjit Simbalapitiya, Minister of Telecommunication and Information Technology, Professor Peter Brook, Chairman of the World Summit Award, Professor Appa Singer, Chairman of the Information, Communication and Technology Agency of Sri Lanka, and other distinguished colleagues here at the head table, and distinguished friends. I'm extremely privileged to welcome to our midst His Excellency Mahinda Rajapaksa, President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Your Excellency's distinguished presence gives us every encouragement to forge ahead in the field of ICT, and thank you for taking time to be with us. Let me also extend a very warm welcome to the Minister of Telecom and IT, Honorable Ranjit Simbalapitiya, Professor Peter Brook, Chairman of the World Summit Awards, and all the distinguished delegates from all over the world who have crossed our shores to participate in the World Summit Awards Global Congress 2013. We are extremely pleased that the World Summit Award Global Congress has come to Sri Lanka in a short span of 10 years since it was first established in 2003. In fact, being the recipient of the WSA Award on three consecutive occasions gives us greater pride to be the host this year for this very laudable initiative. The WSA Global Congress is dedicated to innovation and the creative use of ICTs by selecting the world's most outstanding e-content with the target of turning it into shared knowledge among communities. Our association with WSA dates back to 2009 when we were invited to serve on the grand jury to select the world's best e-content that year. In that year, our first exposure to the WSA Sri Lanka have won two awards, and we have had a winner each year since then. We have also initiated the e Swabimani Award to recognize creativity in digital content at a national level along the lines of the WSA in 2009. We followed the same procedure and even designed our own selection software along those same lines. Sri Lanka's own achievements in the ICT sector has seen leaps and bounds with innovations in how the government delivers citizen services, increased investor confidence, and necessary infrastructure gradually taking shape. In this connection, all Sri Lankans will undoubtedly salute Your Excellency Mahinda Rajapaksa, our president who gave all the leadership to the ICT revolution in Sri Lanka since his assumption of office in 2005. Your Excellency, distinguished friends, this year, Sri Lanka improved her position by two places in the recently published Global Network Readiness Index, or NRI, which measures the nation's or community's degree of preparation to participate and benefit from ICT developments. Within the, with the two-place improvement, Sri Lanka now ranks at 69th place out of 144 countries surveyed so far. The three-day WSA conference, starting tomorrow and culminating in the gala award event, has brought to Colombo more than 160 ICT governance experts, practitioners, and service providers from 48 countries to engage in a dialogue, learning from one another. Compared to about a decade ago, we are now feeling that ICT is penetrating every aspect of our lives. As citizens, how we receive services. As government officials, how we deliver them. As policymakers, how we are inspired by it. There cannot be any government in the world today that does not embrace technology, for it sees technology's potency to deliver effectively do more with less, and satisfy the people. Let me conclude my address this evening, my welcome address to you, by inviting you to take time to travel a little around this beautiful island and enjoy its scenic beauty and the warm hospitality of the people. I wish you would have a successful conference 
and a very enjoyable visit to our motherland. Thank you very much.